And then tell us about your experience, or what do you remember, what's your best memory when you were making Spy Kids? My best memory making Spy Kids? That's a, that's a really tough question. That, a lot of memories. A lot of memories. Um, but I guess maybe just on the first movie, we uh, had this plane, and um, this tiny plane that Alexa, Vega, and I had to climb into, and it's supposed to take off, and it's a one-person plane. And they really put that plane, like, on a harness, and they, like, brought us up and, like, shot us out into the street and yeah so I don't know just like all these practical effects like kind of just relating it back to Nicolas I love the way that Nicolas makes movies he makes them like I said he's the real deal like he's all about practical effects and, and as, as um, not really any special effects and in Green Inferno we also had I guess I love planes we had a plane crash in Green Inferno and he actually got this plane put it up on a rig spun it 360 degrees and then like destroyed destroyed it um, and it, it's just like that's that's the that's the fun way to, to make movies and make art. And do you still keep in touch with your on-screen sister? All the time. She's like my real sister because we grew up together. You know, um, she's actually she's out of town, but she gets into town on Friday. And we're gonna hang out on Friday. But it's, I, I I love seeing her. It's it's a good it's good to you know. Her and her, and her husband are really great. Aren't they a great couple? Oh, I love I love Carlos. He's he's a great addition to her family. She already has a big family, and now he's the addition to her family. It's it's really sweet. And then being a, a child actor, what would be your advice to people who have to transition from being a child actor to adult? Uh, my advice for transitioning actors or just actors in general is just not to give up. You know. Know why you're doing it, do it for the right reasons, and then just don't give up. Has it been a hurdle or a blessing having the Spike is franchise on your, on your list? A huge blessing. I wouldn't trade it for anything. I, I, for any, I mean, for me, it was school, you know. It, it was where I learned a lot of my the basic filmmaking skills. I don't know. That is a, that's a weird word, but that's, that's where I found my, my passion and my love and, and, and for for making movies and, and now TV shows because TV shows are very similar to movies now as well. So. What about Robert Rodriguez? Did he become sort of a, like a second father? He was, yeah, he was uh, absolutely, um, if not a first father. Um, yeah, I, I always um, admire Robert to this day and he just keeps growing and, and he's, talk about creative, he is so very creative. So you work for people who kind of just take things by, by themselves and they, ju they just do it. They don't wait for anybody to... With... I've just I've been so grateful to work with the people that that I've worked with. I, every experience is a learning experience, and I've uh, have a lot to learn. But so far, so I'm just so very grateful for every experience.